channel and I am so so sorry that I haven't posted any videos the past couple of weeks and I've just been essentially MIA off of YouTube but if you've been following me on Instagram and on Twitter you probably already know what's been happening in my life and why I've been away for this long I recently just lost my grandfather this past Friday and it has just taken a toll on me and my family and also my grandpa this past month he has just been in and out of the hospital non-stop going through surgeries and tests and as a dialysis patient it really took a toll on his body and this past Friday he went home to be with God and I'm kind of jealous because he's probably you know running the streets of heaven right now and he's no longer suffering he's no longer in pain and he is you know problem free drama free everything and yeah I miss you grandpa so much but I know you are having the time of your life all right so before I move on to the actual topic of this video I just wanted to come in here really quick and say thank you all so much I really am so overwhelmed with your love and care for me and my family and also keeping my grandpa in your thoughts and your prayers and I know I only share a little glimpse of my life with you all online and I already feel like you all are my family you're my friends thank you all so much for really checking up on me asking me how I am how my family is doing and that really means a lot to me it really means a lot to me that you know you all care that much about me and I really wish that I can give each and every single one of you a hug because I am so so lucky to have a great support system and I really love all of you and yes if you're wondering I did cut my hair I just got it done a few hours ago and I love it love it so much so thumbs up if you love it as well and so before I go on into more rambling and get a little bit more emotional in this video I'm gonna go ahead and get things done so this coming weekend is fame expo and if you're not familiar with fame expo it is a brand new makeup trade show and it is only their second year this year and they will be having it this Saturday and Sunday at the Pasadena Convention Center. I will be attending the event on Saturday so if you're going to be there make sure you find me, come say hello, give me a hug. I would love to meet all of you. So in this video today I just wanted to share with you a little bit my experience from last year and I also came up with a little shopping list of some of the things that I recommend from brands that are going to be there and brands that you might be interested in just so that I narrow down your list of things that you want to get and you know it'll be a lot smarter for you to you know strategize and really prioritize what you want to get first because some of these boots will be jam-packed and will definitely have lines throughout the day. Now since Fame Expo is still a pretty brand new makeup and beauty trade show it wasn't as crowded as IMAX when I went last year and I don't know how that's going to be different this year but last year was definitely mellow. It was very chill chill and the lines were you know fairly reasonable and a lot of people were comparing it to the pro night of IMATS and even then it doesn't even compare I went to the pro night of IMATS this year and it was still pretty jam-packed compared to fame expo there are some brands that come out to these types of shows that no matter what it is they are always busy whether it be Fame Expo, I'm at the makeup show, they always have a line and you know they're always packed because they're just that high in demand. So some of those brands are Makeup Forever, Sugar Pill, Lime Crime, and I believe Namie's also has a line no matter what it is. And so if you want anything from any of those places, make sure to strategize and go to those first and get those done before they sell out of the things that you want. And also a good tip if you're going with your friends and if you're going with someone make sure to divide and conquer. Let me go ahead and get started with some Makeup Forever items first. Makeup Forever has a wide array of products and this is a line designed for pro makeup artists. I love their duo matte powder, their HD foundation is great for photography, their full cover concealer really covers essentially everything and for my makeup kit I love my flash palette it's a great multi-purpose product. I have the pro foundation palettes that I love using on my clients 
experience. And for any of the products that I will be sharing with you today, I don't know the exact number of the discounts that they will be having, but I know they will be having, you know, show sales and show discounts. So for Lime Crime, I definitely recommend their lip products and most especially their velveteens. And if you don't know what velveteens are, these are their liquid lipsticks and they just come on really smooth on the lips and when they dry, they dry absolutely matte and they do not budge. They do not move or transfer anywhere and it has great lasting power. And in my collection, I only have the two original ones that they had and I believe ever since I bought these two, they've come out with four new colors and I definitely want to get them when I'm at the show. From Sugar Pill, I definitely recommend their pigments and their shadows, their pressed shadows. They are so pigmented, so buttery, and they are really, really bright. And Sugar Pill is known for their really, really bright colors and I just love these colors, especially for like the summertime or if I wanted to do a little bit more of a creative look. I love these pigments. They are so pigmented whether they are dry or whether they are used wet and they apply so smoothly. Moving on, Anastasia has the best brow products on the market. The ones that I use the most are their brow powders and if you are a pro makeup artist, definitely pick up the pro palette. And another brow product that I definitely, definitely recommend, especially for the summer, is the Dip Brow Pomades. And this shade that I use in particular is the shade Ebony and I just love it. It is sweat waterproof, waterproof, water resistant. I can go to the gym with this on and it will not budge. And I just love it for the summer, for the heat, the humidity, it'll just last all day. Another new product that I have been loving from Anastasia are their Pro Pencils. They are great multi-purpose products. You can use them to highlight the brow bone or outline your brows. And you can use them as a primer. You can use it to clean up the edges of your eyeshadow or even put it on your waterline. It won't go away. And one last thing you might want to check out and put on your list is the Anastasia contour kit. So the contour kit comes with three highlight shades and I believe one of them is shimmery and the rest are matte and then three contour shades. It is really not the best contouring palette that I've come across. I still prefer my Morphe six press powder palette but it is a really good contour kit because not only is it very versatile but you can also switch up the pans in here when you run out. So I'm released is a very very popular skincare brand in Europe and they recently just became more available here in the States. One of the things that I recommend from Embryolise is their Late Cream Concentrate and this one is a moisturizer or you can also use this as a night cream and really put like a whole mask of moisture on top of your face before you go to bed and I love this because it doesn't make my skin oily and it just provides the right amount of moisture and for those of you who have extremely oily skin and you want to keep your face matte throughout the day, Day. I definitely recommend the Emulsion Hydra Matte and this is a gel moisturizer and this will definitely keep your face matte all day. And other things that I recommend from them are their cleansing milks and also their anti-aging night cream. My grandma uses it and she loves it to death. So if you're at the show, make sure you grab yourself a few of these beauty blunders and this is the original one. They also have the pro black ones and then the pure white ones available and grab some for yourself or some for your kits. I know that they have those pro specials. This is by far the best blending sponge on the market. So Ben Nye is a makeup brand that is very well known in the theater and in the film industry and they're well known for their special effects items. And from Ben Nye, I've only tried one product before and I've not really explored on the things that they have to offer, but I do love their Ben Nye Banana Powder. This is one of the best setting powders there is and I love the banana shade because it's great for, you know, people with yellow or olive undertones. It's great to highlight under the eyes to make yourself look more awake. And when you set with this, it really does not budge. So this is great for the summertime. So one tip that I have for you when you go to trade shows like this is to really stock up on your essentials. So whether or not you are a makeup artist or just a makeup lover and you just love to play with makeup, I definitely recommend you to stock up up on your brushes and your lashes, eyelash glue. And if you are a makeup artist, definitely stock up on your essentials like your disposables, your 
your makeup bags, your empty palettes. So for brushes, I definitely recommend you to go to these shows because they have cheap brushes that are high quality. So some of the things here that I have are some Delium brushes. This is my go-to blush brush. And then for Morphe, my go-to big fluffy fan brush. And then I have some of these Makeup Geek brushes. I really love this cheek highlighter brush for blending out your cream contour. And then this stippling brush. I love it for applying foundation and also applying under eye concealer. And then Makeup Geek also has, you know, a different array of eye brushes and I think they're the ones that are the most versatile when it comes to, you know, blending brushes because they have every single blending brush for every technique possible. And also make sure to stock up on your lashes. And these are Miss Adoro lashes. They will be there. I believe they do have those 10 for 10 kind of deal where everything's a dollar. And then I know Ardell's going to be there. And then if you want more high quality lashes, they have Mink lashes available. I know Flutter Lashes is going to be there. Also from Fame Expo, definitely stock up on your empty palettes and empty storage things, especially if you're a makeup artist, just to keep things organized. Some items that I recommend are the Z palettes. I love that you can see through what's inside. And what I love about these Z palettes is that they're made of cardboard so that when you're traveling, it doesn't really, you know, break or anything. Maybe this plastic thing will break a little bit, but just as long as you keep it safe. And another thing that I have been liking a lot, especially for my makeup, Makeup kit are these view set organizers. They come in different shapes and sizes and different compartments. And this one I use for my disposables. So I have like lash glues over here. I have Q-tips and then I have ones that have the pointy end. And then I have some spatulas right here. And then in this one, this is where I keep some of my pigments. I haven't filled out all of them yet, obviously. And this is really great for traveling, especially if you're a makeup artist and you don't want to bring all of those individual pots of pigments. And it is just all here in one little palette. So next is Scandinavia. I love of their setting sprays. I think they make the best setting sprays on the market today and they're the ones who actually formulate the Urban Decay makeup setting sprays. So if you love those, you're definitely going to love these. So this first one is Original Makeup Setting Spray. This is the one that I use on a daily basis and I love it. And this next one is the No More Shine Setting Spray and this one is for oily skin. This one is their makeup primer spray and you put this on before you put on anything else. And this one will make your face makeup looking cake and it will also help the face makeup to adhere to your skin a lot better. And this one is the bridal spray and this one is probably the most essential for your kit if you're a makeup artist because it just literally lasts all day long. The next thing that I want to share with you is my holy grail all-time favorite spot brush cleanser and it is the Parian Spirit. I love that this one deep cleanses. It has oils in it and it smells amazing. It smells very citrusy. I just love how well it cleanses and conditions your brushes. And when you cleanse your brushes with these, it's almost just as good as deep cleaning your brushes. Another cult favorite of mine when it comes to makeup trade shows and I always have to stop by to this booth is OCC or Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. I remember trying lip tars for the very first time and fell completely in love with it. I just love the formula. I love the demi matte finish that it gives. I love how well it clings to my lips and just lasts a long time. And I love the pigmentation with just very little product that you use. and. As you can see from my little collection of lip tars right here, how much I love these things. I always grab some every single trade show that I attend. And yeah, I definitely recommend these. If you're a makeup artist, this is a great investment for you. I believe they will be selling these for $9 a pop. And what I love about the lip tars is that you can mix and match colors. And OCC came out with different formulas of these. They have the original Demi Matte ones and then they have the very ultra lip tar mattes. These are the new ones. And then they have the metallic ones. And then they also have the stained glosses. So I have a few things left here to share with you. So now let's talk some glitter. And I have some here to share with you. And two of the brands that I love the most when it comes to glitter are the Eye Candy Glitters and the Violet Voss Glitters. So Violet Voss Glitters are essentially, in my opinion, like the traditional glitters. So they come in a variety of different colors with different ear 
interior distance to them and different 3Ds and all that stuff. And I've used a couple of these in my last tutorial, my EDC tutorial, so make sure you check that out. And then another glitter brand that I think you should definitely, definitely check out is the Eye Candy Glitters. They have a wide range of glitter colors that go from very neutral to very bright. And I love that you can use them for your eyes and your lips. And I really recommend their liquid sugar. This is their glue adhesive for the glitter. It really changes the consistency of the glitter to where it's more of a liquidy paste. And when you apply it, it glides beautifully on the face or the eyes or the lips, wherever you want to put it. So we are now down to the very, very last brand. And thank you all for putting up with me. Sorry if you're putting up with my rambling, but this is the brand that I'm most excited to talk about. And I have been using a lot of the products in this makeup brand and I love that they're affordable and they're very high quality products and I recommend essentially everything that I've tried. So if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while now, you probably already know what it is and it is Makeup Geek and oh my gosh, I have been a fan of Marlena ever since like before I even got started to collecting makeup and even, you know, being a beauty blogger and everything. I just adore her spirit and I just love how she makes everything look so easy and I love her tutorials, I love her reviews, and most especially, I love her products. She puts her heart and soul into her products and it definitely shows. I definitely recommend her shadows. They are so pigmented and very buttery. Some of the shadows that I use on a daily basis are, you know, Shimmer Shimmer right here, and then um, Beaches and Cream, Vanilla Bean, and then Peach Smoothie, I'm wearing this on my crease today. And then Glamorous, I love using for the lids. It's a great gold that's very warm toned. Creme Brulee, I love it. It's a great transition shade. Um, Cocoa Bear, I love it for warming up the crease area. Except for Makeup Geek, I do prefer the pan over the compacts just because they're easier to store and I love storing them in these Z palettes. And Marlena also came out with a brand new line of blushes. I have been loving using these for a while now ever since I got it. The one that I'm wearing on my cheeks today is Secret Admirer and I believe this one is already sold out online but I don't know if they're going to have them. And then I also love you know the oranges and the corals that she has. Another thing that I definitely love from Makeup Geek are her pigments. Her pigments are so so buttery and you can apply these dry or wet. And I just love how much product you get with this little teeny tiny container. So that was it for my little Fame Expo guide to success in shopping. I hope that you all liked it and I hope that I helped you narrow down your choices when it comes to purchasing things and if you have any suggestions for me to purchase at Fame Expo leave them in the comments below and even if you're not going to Fame Expo this is a great guide for your other trade shows like the makeup show or IMATS I know IMATS London is coming up as well I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again soon bye